In this video here, we're going to take a look at integrating f of ax plus b. So we now want to look at how we can integrate functions where the argument of the function isn't just x. So a few different examples here. So we might want to find the integral of cos of 2x plus 1 with respect to x. Or we might want to integrate 1 over 4x plus 1 with respect to x. And then for the final example here, we might want to integrate 2x plus 3 all to the power of 9 with respect to x. And the way that we can do this then is by using the reverse chain rule. So in general then the integral of f prime of ax plus b with respect to x is equal to 1 over a f of ax plus b. So let's just run through a few different examples here then for integrating f of ax plus b. So let's just get started here then with example 1. So let's say then that we want to find the following integral here. So we want to integrate cos of 2x plus 1 with respect to x here. So just notice then, if we differentiate sine of 2x plus 1 with respect to x, we obtain 2 cos of 2x plus 1. So I suppose the first question here then is why are we even differentiating sine of 2x plus 1? Why is this relevant? Well, let me just take y then as sine of 2x plus 1. So sine of 2x plus 1 here. And as we've already mentioned, right, if we differentiate sine of 2x plus 1 with respect to x, we obtain 2 cos of 2x plus 1 here. So in that case, then, dy by dx is equal to 2 cos of 2x plus 1. Okay. So again, why is this relevant here? Well, Rather than thinking of this question here as an integration question, I now want you to start thinking of these questions as differentiation questions. And the reason that we can do that is because differentiation and integration are the inverse of each other. So what we need to do here then is compare, and let's do this in a different color. We need to compare then this derivative here to the integrand here. And in fact, what we actually want here is for this derivative to be the same. Okay, as our integrand. Now just notice then, our derivative here, dy by dx, is twice as much as we require, right? We just want cos of 2x plus 1. We obtain then for dy by dx, 2 cos of 2x plus 1. So what we need to do then is adjust this equation here, right? So if we just want dy by dx to be cos of 2x plus 1, what I need to do here is divide through by 2, right? A half sine of 2x plus 1. And in fact, if we do that, what that gives us here then is a result to this integral here because differentiation and integration are the inverse of each other. So in that case, then the integral of cos of 2x plus 1 with respect to x is equal to a half sine of 2x plus 1 plus c with plus c is just our constant of integration. Okay, so hopefully that example makes sense. So that gives us the solution to example 1. So let's have a go then at the next example here, example two. So let's say then that we want to find the following integral here. So we want to integrate one all over two x plus three with respect to x here. So you should be aware then that if we integrate one over x, we obtain ln x. So what we're going to do here then is try y equals ln of two x plus three. Okay, so that's just ln of our denominator here. So if y equals ln of two x plus three, if we differentiate y with respect to x here, what we obtain then is dy by dx equal to 2 all over 2x plus 3. So just notice then that this is twice as much as we require. So again, all we do here, and let's do this in a different color again, is just compare dy by dx here to the integrand. Okay. And again, we already mentioned it here, but this, so dy by dx is twice as much as we actually require, right? We just want 1 all over 2x plus 3. For dy by dx, then we obtain 2 over 2x plus 3. So in that case, then, we need to adjust here to obtain the correct result to our integral. So in that case, then, the integral of 1 all over 2x plus 3 with respect to x is equal to a half ln of 2x plus 3 plus c, where the plus c is just our constant of integration. Okay, so there we have it. That gives us the solution to example 2. So moving on then, let's have a go now at example three. So let's say then that we want to find the following integral here. So we want to integrate 4x plus 2 
all to the power of 6 with respect to x. So what we need to do here then is add 1 to the power. So we add 1 to the power and we take that as y. Okay, so y is equal to 4x plus 2 all to the power of 7. And what we do here then is we differentiate y with respect to x. So the way that we do that then is just by using the chain rule, right? So in that case then, dy by dx here, using the chain rule gives us 28 times 4x plus 2 all to the power of 6. So again, let me just choose a different colored pen here. We'll stay consistent and let's use red again. So what we do now is we compare dy by dx here to the integrand, okay? And again, we want dy by dx here to match the integrand. So we've got 28 times 4x plus 2 to the power of 6. So basically, we now have 28 times the integrand, right? So to adjust this here to give us the correct result for our original integral here, what we need to do then is divide y here by 28, okay? So what that means then is the integral of 4x plus 2 all to the power of 6 with respect to x is equal to 1 over 28 times by 4x plus 2 all to the power of 7 plus c, where again, the c here is just our constant of integration. So there we have it, that gives us the solution to example 3. So moving on to the penultimate example here, then example 4. So let's say that we want to find the following integral here. So we want to integrate sex squared 4 minus x with respect to x. So the first thing to consider here then is what do we differentiate to obtain sex squared x? Well, that would be tan x, right? So if we have y equals tan 4 minus x, so just notice here, the argument matches what we have here for the original um, integral. Then in that case, dy by dx is equal to minus sex squared 4 minus x. And once again, we need to adjust here. So comparing dy by dx here to the original integral and the integrand. So just notice then we want sex squared of 4 minus x. What we have here then is minus sex squared of 4 minus x. So in that case then, what we need to do here is divide y by minus 1. So in that case then, the integral of sex squared of 4 minus x with respect to x is equal to minus tan of 4 minus x plus c, where again, the plus c here is just our constant of integration. So that gives us the solution then to example four. So moving on to the very last example here then, where we have example five. So let's say then that we want to find the following integral here. So we want to integrate one minus two x all to the power of 20 with respect to x. Now this is very similar to example three that we saw before. So again, the first thing that we need to do here is just add one to the power. So let's just consider then y is equal to 1 minus 2x all to the power of 21. And in this case here then, if we differentiate y with respect to x, by the chain rule here then, you should obtain minus 42 times 1 minus 2x all to the power of 20. So what we now need to do here, and again let's just do this in a different colour, is compare dy by dx to the integrand. Okay? And don't forget then, we need dy by dx to match the integrand. So to make dy by dx here match the integrand, I need to divide through by minus 42. So what we do then is we divide y by minus 42. So that gives us the adjustment there. So in that case, what we obtain here for the original integral, so the integral of 1 minus 2x all to the power of 20 with respect to x is equal to minus 1 over 42. So as we've just mentioned, right, dividing through by minus 42, we get minus 1 over 42 times 1 minus 2x all to the power of 21 plus c, okay? So again, the plus c here is just our constant of integration. And there we have it. So that gives us the solution then to the very last example here, example 5. And that actually brings the end then of this video here on integrating f of ax plus b.